Mickey Mouse. Up, 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 and away. Donald and his friends were standing outside the clubhouse on a crisp, bright day. Oh, Donald, Daisy said, look at the sky. Isn't it lovely? Shh, Donald whispered. <coughs> Don't make a move. Something is following me, and I'm going to find out who or what it is. Daisy giggled as she looked behind Donald. Oh, my said Daisy. There's something following you. It's wearing a sailor's cap, just like yours. It's got cute webbed feet, just like yours, and when you move, it moves too. Oh, fool, Donald quacked as he turned around and saw his shadow. It's a fine looking shape, but I still don't trust it. The friends laughed at Donald as he glared at his shadow. Cheer up, buddy, Mickey said. Why don't you leave your shadow on the ground and come with me? <laughs> I don't know, Donald moped. Where are we going? <laughs> up, up and away, Mickey cheered. Who wants to help Minnie and me fly our hot air balloon? Make it a mouse. Hmm? Whoopee. <laughs> I sure do, shouted Goofy. <laughs> you can count me out, Donald grumbled. I don't trust that thing. <laughs> Besides, he added, I'm not missing lunch. <laughs> oh, come on, Donald, Minnie pleaded. I've packed a square meal for each of us. Up? Up and down. Oh, no way. Something's wrong. The balloon won't fill with air. <laughs> oh, that's too bad, buddy, said Donald, trying to hide a grin. I guess we'll just have to go back to the clubhouse for lunch. Oh, toodles, Mickey said. Do we have a mouse catool that can help? Toodles appeared. Do you know of any, do any of you know how we can use this tool? Mickey asked. I know, Mickey, answered Minnie. We can turn the crank to inflate the balloon with hot air. Why, you're right, Minnie. Mickey shouted. We've got ears! Say cheers! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Soon, the friends were floating high above the clubhouse. Up! Up! And away! This is fun! Look, everyone! Can you see the clubhouse from here? Wow, it looks so small! And there are so many shapes below us. I see a heart, a triangle, and a rectangle. Was that one in there? What? And was this one? What? And this shape is a Rec tang rectangle. Big yep. water. It is a big water. How about this one? What's that? House. And this? House. It's a purple triangle. Oh. 
a big house. It is a big house. And oh, what's that? Who's that? Duck. Old baby duck? Baby duck. Yeah. And, and what, what's that right there? Shrub. Yeah. Okay. And right there? Tree. Yeah, it's a tree. Oh, wow. Duck! <laughs> Who are they? Who's that? It's yeah. Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale. Yeah. And they're oh. mouse. Yeah, they're like little mice. The mouse. Mm -hmm. I think they're both chipmunks. I do. See? I see a triangle too, Mickey shouted. And there are Chip and Dale playing a round of golf. It should be called a triangle of golf. Laughed Daisy. Just look at all those triangle-shaped flags. What's a triangle? Asked Goofy as he bit into his sandwich. A, a triangle is a shape with three sides. One, two, three. That have points at all the ends. Sort of like your sandwich, Minnie explained. Triangle, 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 triangle. Where's another triangle? Where's the triangle? There, yeah, yeah. the triangle. Up, up, Ooh, up. Or like that? Goofy questioned as he pointed to a huge triangle in front of the balloon. Like a mouse. Yeah. It was the top of the mountain. Suddenly, a gust of wind whisked the friends right toward it. We need help, cried Mickey. Oh, Toodles! Toodles appeared with a triangle, a patch, a ladder, and a spyglass. Which tools should we use? asked Minnie. Let's try them all, said Mickey. Daisy, ring the triangle for help. Daisy rang the triangle, but it didn't get them off the mountain. Minnie, patch the hole. Minnie put a square patch on the round hole in the balloon, but it was too small. Goofy! Look through the spyglass. Goofy held the spyglass and saw that the ground looked very far, far away. There's only one tool left, yelled Mickey. To the ladder. You're scared. You see? He's scared. He, he, he's happy, but he's scared, scared. Mickey dropped the ladder over the side of the balloon. We've got ears. Say cheers, said Mickey. If we can't get to the balloon to go back up, then we'll have to go down. One step at a time. Me first. Me first. Me first. Me first, shouted Donald. Shouted Donald. Oh, we're going to do this fair and square, Mickey announced. Take a piece of paper with a number on it. Whoever gets number one goes first. Whoever gets number two goes second. Get the idea? Yeah. Was that one? Two. This one? One. This one? No, two. And this one? Three. And this one? Four. And this one? Five. And this one? Six. Good job. The friends headed down the ladder one by one. Everyone was happy to be standing on firm ground again. We're in great shape, unlike our balloon, huh? said Mickey. But we're going to have to hike back home. It's not far, just down the path, or maybe it's that other one. The friends trudged along, growing more and more tired. I think we've been walking in circles, no, Mickey finally said. What happened, Man Man? Pip Array. I'm sure we've seen this tree before. Oops. 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 Here we go. And here. Oh, is that the end of the book? There's not another page? Page. I think we're out of pages, yeah. man, man. That's the end of it. We're going to have to guess. 
So what happened to our intrepid Mickey Mouse Club? We possibly never know. The last of this journal read that the friends had been trudging along. Word is that they eventually found this land of milk and honey, and Mickey was buried in an unmarked grave, never to reach the promised land. The tragic and <laughs> the